guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting Marine to episodes 15 and 16, The Sounds of Life. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 15 in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. <laughs> At first I was going to say is that her mom, but I don't think that mom I think that's somebody who's maybe closer but still it could look like a mom right now no that's her mom so that would be her younger yeah it has to be I don't know <laughs> and the subtitles of everything coming on. Maybe somebody's in there. Game. <laughs> you guys could have went like to the arcade or got ice cream or something. I don't know. complicated. Oh! I know! Yeah! <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, he is someone who writes music, but you guys don't really know that, don't you? <laughs> Are you sure?
Well, yeah. <laughs> it would be all the boys. I'm guessing because he's really good at math. Oh, he's super smart. Oh, Link's so good at my glasses. <laughs> What's wrong? You can't figure it out? Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, math is scary sometimes, but it's easy if you know what to do. Well, at least they got it. That's a good thing. Really, really good. Sometimes you have to just make up things just to get it along, you know? <laughs> so what are you going to make? Are you sure it wasn't for Tita? She needed someone to console her. Even though she knows I'd like to do her herself, she still needed someone to just say, hey, it's okay. It's going to be fine. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> yeah, it's the onion, alright. <laughs> Next time, wear some gloves with your glasses. It'll be okay.
Um, in the salad too. Oh my god, I'm hungry. Well, it makes sense that you can just go ahead and get all your homework done in one day. Now see, why couldn't they do this with like freaking Hiddle? I mean, yeah, Hiddle and freaking Hose Kate. That would have been nice. Because you sometimes want to know when they're not focusing on those two. Still doesn't know the right words to say to a girl. He knows sometimes, but not all the damn time. It's just, ugh. True. Oh, you about it. Because <laughs> he really wants it, I'm guessing. <laughs> of course. See, there are times with him, especially with the fact is that we now know, like, from last week, I think it was, that he writes music and everything. I wish he also knew how to play, because, oh, if he could play piano, just like, ooh, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> Yeah. 
I mean, because we still want to talk about the but she gave him nothing but like strawberry edge. Like, oh my god. Ah. Oh yeah, it's so obvious. <laughs> And that's okay. You are just so adorable. Oh my God. <laughs> Greta? Bullshit. That pause and everything? Mm mm. Bull That is complete and total bullshit. But you can still focus on nationals and still tell whoever you like that you like them. Yeah, that's fine. You know you want to be a mom with him. Because you like him! Oh, 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 out of all the people. He's not going to end up hurt, so shut up. My heart, I can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs>
why are you crying? Oh, this is just, oh, oh, <laughs> no, his pride and his confidence as a man, oh my god. These three idiots. <laughs> At least somebody's happy by the end of this episode. Oh my god, this was complicated. I mean, it is so obvious that Hiro has feelings for Kareta. Like, come on now. I mean, I, especially with like season one, I've been debating if they've had something together, and I'm like, I wasn't really 100% sure. But really, this episode was the episode to really just, like, confirm it, that she has feelings for him. But I wasn't expecting people from her past to come into this episode. Maybe, like, episode 15 a little bit. Um, no, dumbass, this is 15. 16, my bad. Um, 16, 17, or 18. One of the two. But not this episode. I, I was thinking this was just going to be them going to the store together, getting stuff, and, you know, them just hanging out because she feels a certain type of way when she's around him. Her heart beats out of her ears. You can hear that. And your chest is just pounding. And, you know, just when you look at him or her, whoever you're in love with, you just can't imagine life without them and such. You just, ooh. Just, mm, oh my God. And then just the big kids. The kids, they were like kids. They were the four kids. So, I, I don't know. Should I count it? I, it's complicated. But, ugh. <laughs> I can't like oh uh, and they're probably not going to really talk about this in like the next episode or episodes. Like I would want either Kurata, Hiro, Hozuki, or Chika, one of the four to confess to the opposite person that they like. I mean, for, like, Hozuki and freaking Chika, I would rather want Hozuki to kind of confess because of the fact is this is a girl who has been, like, on her own for such a long time to the point where she, especially with episode one, going into the first season to this season, she's more outgoing. She's able to handle herself a lot around Chika and everything. She's able to hold a better conversation than she did in the first half of the show. So, I mean, that's, like, one of the biggest things of why I'm so proud of her and how far she's come as a person. But when she gets flustered around him and blushes, it's a little, like, she takes a step back. And that's okay. But, I mean, she had a conversation with her friends today and then she, she couldn't get the topic. I get that because some of us have been like that where it's mainly you're so busy with one thing and one thing only and you don't really... Um, not particularly care about anything else. It's more of you just have a one track mind and you're focusing on one thing at the time instead of doing like multiple things at the same time and worrying about like so many different things. But I, I just I want her to confess first. If, if you know what, if Hiro, not Hiro, if Chica confesses first, I'll be okay with that because I mean, still. It's cute. Whether the boy confesses or the girl confesses, it's nice. But I think with Kareta and Hiro, I think Hiro is going to be the first. She's going to say it. There's going to be a point where she's literally going to think to herself, like, yeah, today's the day. I'm going to do it no matter what. It could happen in episode 16. I really am not sure about that. But honestly, I ain't going to know until I watch the next episode. But I feel so bad for her because, like, when her friends came, her, like, I, what I like to say is her former friends came and how broken she was and you could just see on her face and even when she heard her name being called by her former friend like that shock and that like but like, it feels like you got shot and it just it feels so bad for her like it's so freaking bad but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 16. all right episode 16 and three two one, go.
Because the attention, the sexual attention, the chemistry is freaking real. Like, oh my god. They're like too close. I'm okay. Too close. Too close. <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't like that. It's just because. They suck it. They just, I mean, they are the three airheads that have literally no freaking clue about what's going on between these other four characters. It's like, hmm. You just want the guys to hang on again, again one day and just be like, so, <laughs> Chica, how you feel about us and you? <laughs> oh, God. Or, like, you know, kind of sad, you feel about, you know, it's just, it, not to make it awkward, awkward, but just, like, a little awkward. <laughs> to just try to get that confession out, just, you know, just, mmm, because you ain't gonna need it, like, money. But I don't think he would do it. It's, like, honestly, with guys, and this is just my opinion, and this is more of really from the guys that I've dated in the past. It's a little harder for guys to confess first rather than a girl because a girl can fall in love with a guy like that. And sometimes it depends like me. It depends on me and the person and how they truly make me feel. And if it's like, damn, do I really love this person as much like my previous boyfriend? I loved him so, so much to the point where I was like imagining us growing old together and I mean yeah that sounds not awesome for some people to imagine that but like when a girl or even a guy imagines that that's how you know love is really true because there's so many things on your mind you just need to take a day off So much your friends so with you, right? It has to be. No, not everything I settled. Oh my god. Girl.
<laughs> yeah, focus on yourself, and then when you think you're ready, or when you think she's ready, then talk to her. No. It's her, isn't it? This is going to be awkward. Oh, my God. 
And have fun. I swear to God, it, it, like I just need these two to get together by the end of this damn series. Like, please, please, that's all I want. Those four couples, two couples, four people get together. Oh my God, please, I beg you. The sexual tension in this show between these four characters is so massive, and it's just like. Mm -hmm. Isn't this the opening of the first show? It is. Oh. Kiddo, you still have a chance. But you're cute too. You still have potential against him and her. You can do this. Mm -mm. Go on. Oh my god, please talk to her. You guys are making it hella awkward than it needs to be.
chica you want to stay back? Mm-hmm. Stay the fuck back and talk to her. Be like a man. And per- no, oh my god. Damn it. I mean, you want to get to nationals, right? So you need, like, a head-turning piece. And if he says none of them are good, you have to go with his instincts no matter what. So don't fuck it up. You gotta eat, sleep, and breathe it no matter what. God, I need to know that, yeah, this is their last chance for freaking Hiddle you know, and cut it up because if they don't make it, it's just, oh my God, the pressure. That's a little too much on them for the rest of the first years, but I get it. It's honestly, it was needed because something, we all knew we were going to get closer and closer to graduating. And I was like, oh God, I don't want to talk about this and stuff. It's like how 
the last few freaking episodes are really the second half of K-On! When you watch it and then you know, oh, hey, these four are going to graduate soon. And my poor Azanyan is going to be left alone by herself. And I didn't want that for her because I wanted Azanyan to have her friends with her no matter what. And for them to not really go on to college, they could stay in high school forever. But sometimes you can't have that. And so let's say they didn't make it to nationals. It would literally break the shit out of this group. I think the dynamic would really, really just be so sad. And honestly, I would really be depressed as well. I mean, but this is their last fucking chance. So picking a song is crucial. It can't be just like a run-of-the-mill everyday freaking song. It has to be a song that turns heads. That makes people feel a certain type of way. So many emotions in like one setting that you get that standing ovation and people are just like, yes, like encore if they need you or something. Hmm. But the biggest thing, here's the biggest thing I want to know. Is she going to be able to play that again? Because that was when she was all stuck up in her head, right? Oh my god, this is going to be so hard. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. When the baby was depressed and in her shell and just on her own and looking at her headspace. Oh my god, I, I mean, I had a feeling it was going to be that. But I was just like, no. I was like, he's not going to pick that song, is he? And like god damn it damn it Susan like ugh. I mean yes it's a smart thing because instantly like what those emotions make you feel and how powerful that performance is with her because she felt a certain depth away because you know all the shit with her mom and everything yada 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 but oh we're not even done with this show yet and I just want to know how the hell this is gonna end I mean Jesus because there's so many things I don't know how she's gonna feel it Next week, she's gonna feel like so many different emotions, and I'm not ready for it. She's gonna be pissed, angry. She might cry. She might want to run away. She might want to distance herself from her from the other group. But I don't want her to do that. But she has to be headstrong no matter what. And so I think she's gonna get through it. It might just take a whole episode or two. Honestly, really, who knows? I hate the fact that you know, with the conversation to Chica and Hoseki. It was starting, and they were really going to get somewhere, and then it gets ruined. Don't even get me started on Kareta and Hiro, because they technically have it solved, but not really, because the fact is that Hiro and her confession, and I really want her to tell him, but it's like, is she really going to, or is she going to wait last minute until like something happens? Because I honestly was thinking that um, Kareta Senpai was possibly going to be like, I like you. And then it would have just been like, well, you know, like, mm, can't do anything anymore. Like, it's completely gone. Thanks for watching and playing this game with us. You, you literally should have done something like so sooner. But yeah, I'm not going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 15 and 16 of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 17 and 18. Bye, guys.